Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. Now, for today's video, last week we did Jasmine and we are back this week with Aladdin since Disney's new live action Aladdin was released. I know I did a tutorial on both Jasmine and Aladdin and Genie and everything, but those were about four years ago. So we are brushing up on all these fantastic tutorials, plus we're all in the Aladdin mood right now. So let's go ahead and draw Aladdin from Disney's Aladdin. Now, this is the cartoon version, not the live action, but hey, they, he pretty much looks the same. <laughs> He's the perfect cartoon version. Like, real life, I, I'm probably not the only one who thinks this. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> so I'd like to go ahead and lay out the rest of his body first. So we're gonna start with his head towards the top of this paper. I'm gonna start up here. And we're gonna make that basic shape of a head. You know, you make a rounded forehead, bring down the side, bring out the chin just a little bit, bring it down and go right back up. So this is a three quarter turn that we're gonna do on his little doodle of his face today. So that means I'm gonna make my nose line go towards the left side a little bit more and make my eye line go right about here. All right, and we'll shape this up to look a little bit more like his face and give him a stronger chin, jawline, everything that's going on in Aladdin's face. So after this, I'd like to go ahead, bring down the neckline, bring it straight down. And this could all change eventually, as we learned in the Jasmine tutorial. So I'm just gonna lightly go ahead and mark off that his ears right here. That way I can go ahead and bring down his neck off to the side, right about there. From his neckline, I'm gonna bring out one shoulder going this way, and then I'm gonna bring down one shoulder going off this way. Nice broad shoulders, and then I can kind of go ahead and guesstimate that if I bring this shoulder in here, that his chest is going to be somewhere right down here. I'm gonna go ahead and circle off the top of his arm that would be right about here. So we've got the top of his upper arm here and then the top of his arm right here. Bring out this arm. And then we're gonna do that classic hero pose. We're gonna bring down this arm, go straight into his chest, one arm is going into his chest. So I'm gonna lightly just kind of square off his arm, his hand going into his chest here. All right. Bring down, bring in this part of his chest and it starts to go outwards. So from his chest, his actual, like his hand is resting on his, on his hip, but the rest of it's gonna be covered up eventually. So then this arm right here is just going to be hanging down. We're gonna bring out that upper arm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just round out, see, round out the top of his hand, go outwards and then round that out. That way we can go ahead and fill in like his thumb and his fingers. So typical hero pose, hand on hip, ready to go, ready for the fight. So let's zoom in and get a couple more details going on inside of his face. Alrighty, so starting with Aladdin's eyes, we don't want them to be too close and then we don't want them to be too far apart. I'm going to place, I'm just gonna lightly circle right here for his one left eye is right up, up against his nose ridge. And then we have this eye off to the side, not too far away and not too close. Yeah, a couple of other things because this eyebrow will go straight into his nose ridge. So I'd like to go and just lightly off to the side of the left eye, go all the way to the forehead that we already have, bring out that one and then go to about there. And then what I can do from his nose ridge is go down alongside of that, a side of that eye. And I'm actually going just to place like a circle at the bottom of that nose, just so we can go ahead and have a general idea of what, where we're going. Go down, scoop it under right here. 
and then I'm just going to lightly give them a nostril. Bring out this side. And bring out this side too. So nice and rounded, go straight down, keep that roundness to his nose. And then I'm gonna lightly go ahead and then draw out this eyebrow. We'll make them nice and thick in a second. Let's go ahead and shape up his eyes a little bit more. So with the right eye, he has nice thick eyelash line. So from the eyelash line, we're gonna go ahead and bring down, round this off, keep its roundness. Going to bring this up, his eye. Go to the corner. I'm gonna go into, make that circle pupil area towards the bottom. So we're gonna make a circle there. Then I'm gonna jump over off to the side right here. Nice thick eyelash line on top. Going off to the side. Bring down the side of his eye. And circle back into that nose ridge. And then this part will go down. And I'm gonna go ahead and make that circle iris, pupil iris area. Then what I'd like to do is go ahead and make the shine of the eye here. Shine of the eye here, and then I wanna jump in, build a pupil around that, and Aladdin has brown eyes. So lightly shade this in too. Next, what I'd like to do is go ahead and shape up his eyebrows a little bit more. So it gets really thick in the middle. So we just go ahead and make that arch really thicker. Go right into his nose ridge. And then this one, make it thick at the corner. Curve it here and nice and skinny at the end. Let's fix up his forehead a little bit more. So I'm gonna keep his overall forehead right here. We're gonna go in towards his eye. So we go in towards its eye, bring out that cheekbone a little bit, bring it out. And then he does have a very long, strong chin, so you're gonna go towards the bottom curve in and then we're going to go to a very strong square chin it's a little bit small at the end so we start to round up keep that strong jawline and we're going to bring this part right here nice and angular and it does jump off to the side of his ear so his ear is in the right spot <laughs> and then what I'd like to do Underneath his nose, after shaping his face up just a little bit, underneath his nose, you're gonna jump right about here. You're gonna go underneath his nose, and then it's gonna go up. And then you're gonna go from the side, you're gonna go down. Round it off at the bottom. You're gonna give him a dimple right here, and then underneath you're gonna give him a lip. where there is his hair is gonna go. So we're gonna start right about here above the right eyebrow. You're gonna jump off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and start bringing out his big, floofy, perfect black hair. All right, so we're gonna bring out this side over here and go across his ear. We're actually gonna go up from that part. We're gonna keep this level, go up. 
Alrighty. And then we're gonna go underneath off to the side, bring off this side, and then he has a little bit of a swoop that goes right into the middle of his forehead. After this, you're gonna jump off to the side, bring down his hair, go in. I'm actually gonna bring in his face just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and go out just a little bit. Soften up those cheekbones just a tiny bit. There we go. And I'm actually gonna round this part of his face just a little bit more. There we go. Sprucing him up, there we are. And I'm gonna get rid of a couple of guidelines. After this section of hair, we went ahead and brought this in just a little bit. We're bringing out this part of his hair. It's gonna go underneath, right tucked into his chin. Bring out that neck a little bit more. And then we're gonna jump back to this part here. You're gonna bring out this part and you're going to swoop in all right let's go ahead and divide these up to make them look a little bit more organic so this part of his hair is going on top of his ear and then we have a sideburn that's coming off down to the side so we're just going to go right in front of that ear give a little bit of space for the eyebrow, actually bring up this line just a little bit more. Give a little bit of space from the eyebrow and the hair. And I'm gonna bring out right back here, bring out this part, bring out this part back here. Oh, I'm gonna actually jump inside of his ear. Give him that, go in, make a little divot here. And then go right in to make that earlobe. Now for his hair on top, this is pretty nice and smooth and it goes down. And then up on the side, it goes in. And then this one goes into the middle of his forehead, bring out, go this, will go swooping in just a little bit more, right there. And then this will actually be one section of hair that goes in right about here. So I'm gonna get rid of this section we made and this one. Bring down this part of his hair that's coming out to the side. And we have like a little bit of a section going right across his forehead here. A little bit of a section. And then this part, so we're just gonna bring out a couple pieces here. And go right back in. And then his neck from his chin is gonna go straight down like this. And then we're gonna keep his neck overall to the side, go straight down. Round down the shoulder. Oh, last but not least, we can give him his little fez. So on top of his hair, right here, we're gonna go up. Curve, go ahead and curve that top right there. And curve off to the side. Now the thing to do is if you wanna make this simple, you can make it break up into sections on shading. So we can make a section here and make this shading to where it's it's like a shine almost. So I can go ahead and darken this part up here. And then we're gonna make a shine up here, off to the side, and we're gonna darken here and here and leave a couple of sections open for more shine. So if I go ahead and color this in, this part in too. And then fill in right here, make a nice 
black part here and go ahead and section this off. And I'm gonna go ahead and just color this part in too. Go. So his shoulder is gonna go out to the side, pour it around this part down, and then his vest starts right alongside here. So we're gonna circle in this part of his vest on his, on his arm. So his vest is gonna swoop in, go to a really sharp corner, go out, so a nice sharp corner, go out, and make this nice hanging down off to the side, so we have one part of his vest here, then we're going to jump off to the side, on the left side of his shoulder, this part is going to go out, and we still have that circle top of his arm. So this part of his vest is going to go down. Bring off this part, this side of the vest, bring this part down. And then this corner of his vest is going to go to a sharp corner and go into his chest and it's going over on top of his hand. So this part of his vest is actually going to connect. So you make this all the way connect. And go back behind his chest. Then we're gonna go ahead and shape up this side so it's gonna go out, make this a nice solid line, and then back out this way. I'm actually going to go ahead and draw his belt, so we're going to make a belt here where that line is going to go. Now for his chest, from his, from his neck straight down, you're going to make a little muscle tone right here. So it looks like one of those birds. And then from directly underneath here, you can draw like a little phantom line. You're gonna circle, circle in towards his vest. Make sure you make it not too round and not too boxy for his chest. And then we have one more indication, same level right next to that. And that's all you have to do for his chest. And you can go ahead and get rid of some of these, a couple of these sketch lines, guidelines. You're gonna bring down this side of his tricep, bicep, I don't know what they're called. And then you're gonna bring down this side. You're still giving him a little bit of tone. He does parkour, running away, lifting himself up, and running away from the guards. And then we're gonna tone up this part of his upper arm, go in and then out, and then we're gonna to start to make more of a wrist going into his arm. See how it's still pretty toned looking? So this goes into a wrist and he has broader, stronger hands. So starting off, we still have this shape. We're gonna make it nice and square here. And it's gonna go out, so it's a big out. Circle it in. Nice strong thumb. And then we're gonna round it off right here. Curve outwards. Make a hand going in. And you're gonna make the middle finger coming off to the side of his pointer finger. 
and that middle finger is going to go out. Go in a little bit, give a little bit more muscle tone to his hands, and then you have another finger that's off to the side, and we can't really see the pinky. So you can get rid of this line here. And then we have his hand, and then we don't even have to draw his hand on the other side. What you are going to do, a little bit more tone and muscles here. Bring out this side, goes out to the corner. Mirroring around this part of his arm. And you're gonna jump inside above where this line we made. You're gonna jump inside on top of the line. So if you go ahead and erase it, we go. And then this part is going to circle in. And all you have to do is just kind of like, I'm just going to lightly draw through his vest, box off his hand because his hand's resting on his chest and we can't see it. So it's pretty easy. I'm gonna shade just a little bit off to the side of his nose. So you see if I make him more distinct. So I'm gonna just make off a nostril a little bit more off to the side. Give a little bit of an eyelid up here. A little bit of an eyelid up here. Bring down that chin. Now for the rest of his body, you're actually gonna jump off to the side. Right here, I'm gonna actually chop this a little bit more. Bring down this side of his pants. Now from the belt area that we made, you're actually going to go underneath. You're gonna bring out this side. Bring down, go down, and then circle right back up to the side. Bring that in just a little bit more. And then from the top, this overlapping part of his belt that we made, you're gonna go bring it across, go underneath there, and then underneath there. And a little bit of like an indication of fold of fabric. Then you have his pants. You're gonna start from here, and they are connected. There's not really a crease or anything. They're more connected. And then you're gonna bring down this line and then a couple lines here. And just bring out the sides. There you guys go, there's how to draw Aladdin from Disney's Aladdin. I hope you guys will go and watch the new Aladdin live action movie. Just had to straighten that up. <laughs> it, it was absolutely beautiful. I love that movie. I add in some awesome, cool, different twists. Will Smith was an amazing genie. No one will compare to Robin, but Will Smith did phenomenal. So next late week, let's go ahead and draw Genie, our wonderful favorite little blue character in Disney Universe. And I hope you guys will have a most wonderful day, and I will see you all later. Bye!